All right, it's been a while, but uh, I figured I'd try to try to fix a Nintendo Switch that I've had laying around the house for a while uh, before I went on my little hiatus. I had uh, this Nintendo Switch, and when I initially got this Nintendo Switch, um, it would boot up to the Nintendo logo, and that was it. Um, but now it's not booting up to the Nintendo logo. I don't know, maybe the battery's too dead or or what, but, uh, so yeah, so it's not doing even that now, oh, there it goes, so, it'll come up on the Nintendo logo, and it doesn't matter necessarily how long I let this battery charge, it won't ever get past the Nintendo logo, and so, I did some research, and the, and the initial thought was, that the Wi-Fi chip, the Wi-Fi IC was bad. So I took the Wi-Fi wi -Fi IC off, um, tried to boot it up without the Wi-Fi IC, and it wouldn't boot. So clearly that wasn't the problem, but I put a, a different Wi-Fi IC on there. I reballed it and, and put it on there. And, uh, and still, nothing. I was pretty proud of myself, because I did all of this a while back, and uh, it's still the same fault, so at least I put everything back, I think, correctly, because that chip's kind of small. But I don't know exactly what to do in this case. All the voltages look good. Uh, obviously, the screen's good. Yeah, I, I don't know what the next step should be. Uh, I thought maybe, I thought maybe uh, learning how to pull an ice, pull the CPU off, reball it, and put it back on, and see if that, uh, if if maybe that's the issue. And I've never done that, and I'm sure it's difficult, but you got to learn at some point. So I figure maybe this switch uh, will be the one I learn on. So. I think that's going to be the goal for today is to learn how to reball a CPU so yeah that's what we're gonna do so I think um, I don't know if I ever tried to try a different battery or not so I think for the sake of being thorough I'm sure I did but for the sake of being thorough I think I'll try a different battery and see uh, if it does anything different. So we get the Nintendo logo. No, is it going to boot up? No, I don't think it will. I think it was doing this before. Yeah, it, it just gets stuck on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, And that's where it stays. So, I don't know what would cause that other than they said the, the Wi Fi, or the Wi Fi IC. But, alright, so, so yeah, so that didn't work. I suppose we could start removing things. I'll approach this like it's the first time I've seen it. Because I am having a hard time remembering what. I did to it in the past. So I think I'll take out the game card reader and then see if it'll boot up without that. Game card reader is out. Let's put the battery back in. Um, let's put the known good battery back in. And let's try to power it on. Yeah, no. Same thing. It is the same thing. Um, so before I commit to pulling the processor, 
Maybe I should remove the P9 or P13 uh, because it will boot without the P13 attached. So maybe I should try to do that first. See if it'll boot without the P13, and then we can rule out the P13. And does it charge normally with a known good battery? Let's 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 get that information. So we will charge it. This is a known good battery. I'm going to plug it in. So it drops to zero like it's trying to boot. But no, it gets up to 474. And I know yeah, it's still stuck on the switch logo. And I know that. All right, let's. Uh, it's powered on, it's plugged in. So we know that the, the thing is on. Let's check voltage. Because I know that uh, on these inductors here, I'm supposed to have 0.8 volts, and I do have 0.8 volts. And that 0.8 volts goes to the processor. To tell, you know, it's all a big system, right? So we have, but charging is stuck at 474 milliamps because the switch is not completely booted. So if it will not completely boot, then it'll never go to fast charging. So, hmm, this is a strange, strange issue. All right, let's, uh, let's unplug it. Let's, I'm going to take it apart, uh, and then we'll inspect the board and see what we see. All right, so <clears throat> as you can see, uh, I'm fairly certain at some point I did remove this and try it, but we'll give it a, we'll give it another try and uh, and see what we can see. And so long, I don't know where any of my things are at. All right, we'll wait for that to cool down, put it back in the case, and see if anything changes. All right, it's all back together, so let's go ahead and attempt to power it up and see what it does. And this was uh, without the P13 USB chip on. Nope, I'm not doing anything. Not doing anything. All right, I got the lid off, so let's uh, let's clean up the CPU. So maybe I should heat this up first and and see if I can maybe bump it. Maybe I can bump it a little bit. And if that doesn't work, then you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it off. I'm not even gonna. I'm gonna take the CPU off. Or maybe it's a RAM issue. Maybe it's a RAM issue. Maybe I should try to like bump the RAM a little bit. There's one. All right, both were bumped. It did not help, but I did not hurt either. So I did not make it worse. All right, one more thing I'm gonna do before I, uh, see, I'm just gonna pull the Wi-Fi wi -Fi IC off just, just to make sure, try to boot it up without the Wi-Fi IC, just to make sure that the Wi-Fi IC is not causing this issue. I don't, again, I don't think it is, but you know, what's it gonna hurt? It's broke. Uh, so let's do that real quick, and then uh, so we'll put a little flux down. Ooh, 
How many caps did I knock off? None. Okay, good. Alright, so I'll put it back in the chassis and we will see what happens when I boot it up. Alright, as far as I can remember, this thing is supposed to boot up without the Wi-Fi IC. It just obviously won't have Wi-Fi, so let's uh, press the power button. We get the Nintendo logo. Goes to the Switch. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it does nothing. So, I remember doing this before. It should boot up without the Wi Fi I see on. Uh, but it's getting stuck somewhere, somehow. I just don't quite know where. And I have, uh, thinking maybe it was a software issue. I've tried to get into safe mode. I've tried to get into recovery mode by pressing the volume up, volume down, and power button and all the, that stuff, and nothing helps. It just sits there at the Switch logo. So, uh, so yeah, so I think, what do I have to lose? I'm gonna pull the, I'm gonna pull the CPU. I've already bumped the RAM. I mean, the RAM could be bad, I suppose, but, I don't know. I don't know how to troubleshoot this, really. All right. This is going to be terrifying, but let's do it. We are going to do this without a nozzle. So let's uh while the board's still hot, let's clean up these solar pads. Well, I, I reckon that's okay. I don't know. I don't know. So the board is prepped. Alright, let's uh let's clean the chip. That should be nice and clean. We got our stencil. So now it should just be a matter of taking some solder paste. Putting a little on there. We'll take our spreader and we'll just spread this all around. Every hole it looks filled to me. So now it should just be a matter right on the side over here. Those don't look too good. I'd say that is good. So now what we're going to do, raise the microscope up a little bit. And then I'm going to hit it with some heat. Probably like 370 or so. And we're going to try to see if this works. I don't think that worked, y'all. My stencil started raising up. That didn't work. Okay. Okay. Not sure what I did wrong, but that did not work. That's what it looked like. So let's wake all that up.
All right, we're going to plug it in and see what happens. I did it. I did it. I swapped the CPU. It might still be broken, but I officially swapped a CPU. Holy cow, dude. Yeah, it's still broken, but I don't even care. I do not even care, dude. I took a Nintendo Switch CPU off, and I freaking put it back on, and we're back to the same defect that we had that is 100 percent amazing bro my gosh i needed a win I needed a win bad and i think this was a win so yeah i just don't i don't know what could, else could cause it i doesn't have the wi-fi i see on it's not software blocked or anything like that it's it is one of the loose serials so maybe somebody tried to maybe somebody tried to uh Dude, that's amazing. Bro, y'all, that's amazing. That is 100% amazing. I'm quite proud of my accomplishment. I'm quite proud. It's still broken, but you know what? I don't even care. The thing I was using is this thing right here. And I bought this off of AliExpress, and it comes with this CPU stencil, right? And so this deal right here, when you put the chip in, when you put the chip in, this just lines up like so. And you're able to, uh, and it lines up perfectly with the chip, right? But the problem is, is when you heat, when you put in your solder paste, and then you heat it up, this this part right here bubbles out so what I ended up doing was I put the chip in there and then put this back in place and then I put it on there sideways like so and then I lined this up with the chip because it's it doesn't matter the chip is symmetrical on all places and then then when you do that you can put in your solder paste and then when you heat it up it won't bubble up so that's how I ended up having to use this. I don't know if that's the intended way, but uh, but yeah, it worked. The CPU's back on, and we friggin' did it, man. We swapped over a CPU and got it back to the, the same fault. But yeah, so if any of y'all know of a way any other things I can try for that for it not fully booting let me know man because I'm but yeah I think uh, I think I'm gonna call it quits if you guys have any ideas let me know and uh, I'll see if I can't uh, figure something out from there but I did swap over or, or reball the CPU and put it back on successfully and so I am pretty proud of that uh, of that accomplishment because that uh that was that was difficult it was a very difficult thing to do anyhow i appreciate y'all watching y'all be good